Hello everyone, this is John White from Junior Screed and I welcome you to the 8th lecture of the HISIS training series and today we are going to be um, simulating a conversion reactor. Um, the conversion reactor is an equipment or vessel which models the conversion reaction and this lecture begins with a problem to develop a model that represents the partial oxidation, oxidation reaction of methane to produce hydrogen. The partial oxidation method relies on the reaction of methane with air in order to produce carbon dioxide and oxygen. Now the learning outcomes to simulate the conversion reactor of course to add reaction and reaction set then to attach reaction sets to the fluid package and the computer is to be able to navigate the PFD to add streams in the PFD or workbook to add and connect unit operations if you find out that you cannot do any of these you should refer to previous lectures then here's a problem statement the interest in the production of hydrogen from hydrocarbon has grown significantly in the last decade efficient production of hydrogen is an enabling technology directly related to the fuel cell energy conversion device. The conversion of the fuels to hydrogen can be carried out by partial oxidation. The partial oxidation method relies on the reaction of fuel from um, the partial oxidation method relies on the reaction of fuel, for example, methane with air in order to produce carbon dioxide and hydrogen. Sorry about that. Now, these are the reaction methane plus oxygen to give you hydrogen and carbon monoxide. Then, methane and oxygen to give you carbon dioxide and hydrogen. Now, the problem is to then develop a model that represents the partial oxidation of methane to produce hydrogen. Now, given the following conditions, the fluid package is spent rubbing thin, the temperature is 25, pressure is 2 bar. The molar flow of the methane is 100 kg over R. This is the molar flow of air. This is the composition of air here. Then the conversion, the percentage of um, the conversion is 40% for the first reaction Y and 60% for the second reaction. So let's move to uh, Pisces. Mm. Create a new case. Well, first and foremost, let's save our work. Control S. I may call this lecture eight. Now, component list. We should add meeting. Add oxygen, hydrogen, to CO two, to CO carbon monoxide. I think that's all. Okay, we have to add nitrogen too. Nitrogen. And I think that is all that the components of using a fluid package is um Peng Robinson. Okay, we're done so we can move to our simulation environment then we start simulating then let's create our material streams we should be having two that's one for methane and one for the air methane. the temperature was to be 25 degrees Celsius, the pressure was given to be two bars. The 
the mass flow, the molar flow rather was given to be 100 kilogram mole per hour. Then let's go to the composition. We know it's pure methane, so methane is 1.0. Okay. So that's fully specified for the methane stream. Now let's go to the air stream. There's a composition. You know, we are giving it to be 79% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. So this should be 0 0.79. Then oxygen should be 0 0.21. Conditions the same temperature and pressure. That's two bar. Then the molar flow was even to be two sixty. Okay, that's fully specified there. So we specified our methane stream and our air stream. Now we add the conversion reactor come to column here then this is the conversion reactor just bring it right here since it's um, an oxidation reaction we can just name it oxidation Reactor. You know the inlet streams are going to be the methane and the air. The energy is optional, so we'll just leave it. Let's put the um, vapor outlet to be valve vapor outlet. While the liquid should be liquid outlet. So now we need to add the reaction set, but we've not done that. So you can close this here, then come back to the properties environment, then reaction. Add. So now we are going to add the first reaction, the conversion reaction. So add. We are adding two reactions, right? Because we are giving two reactions. So reactions one and reactions two. Reaction one and two. Then let's specify reaction one. Add component. The reaction was given to be. Here's the first reaction here. CH4 plus half O2 will give you CO plus 2H2. So let's go. First should be methane, then oxygen, then carbon monoxide, then hydrogen. Now the stoichiometric coefficient is just um, the number behind. Um, each component in the reaction. I will know that for the reactants they are negative while for the products they are positive. So for methane it will be minus 1 for oxygen minus 0 0.5 for carbon monoxide it's 1 for hydrogen it's 2 so you can see that the balance error is 0 so once it's 0 it means your equation is balanced. The Conversion should be 40%, but let's confirm. Forty percent. The next one is sixty percent. Forty. So that's really specified. So we come to reaction two. We do the same thing is methane oxygen carbon dioxide and 
5 virgin Retaining was 1 Minus 1 rather Because it's a reactant Oxygen is minus 1, 2 And this is 1 And this is 2 Because the balance is 0 Then the conversion is 60% For the percentage conversion So that is that We can go to the ranking This should be Zero. This should be one. That's that. You can see that it's saying not attached to fluid package. Say attach to fluid package. Attach it to fluid package. No, that's that. So let's rename this to oxidation reaction. reactions so we've done that we can now come back to our simulation environment you might want to arrange this a bit So you can click on this, then come to reactions, then add the reaction. As that you can see, the reaction is okay. Now actually, there is nothing in the liquid stream. There should be nothing in the liquid stream. Means that the flow rate of the liquid is zero, and that's that. We just Simulate. We just modeled the oxidation reaction for methane and air. So let's go back to our slide. That's that. So um, building the simulation, that's what we just did. We access high seas. We just did all this. Now, problem what is the molar flow of methane, oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, CO, and CO2? So our problem is what is the molar flow so let's go back to um, our simulation environment so when we're here we just come to the workbook from the home tab the workbook then the setup here we want to add master component molar flow so we come here then alphabetical order so just look for master that should be m master component molar flow for all of this you could be adding a one by one okay this this but since we just need all of them just click on all then okay you can come here and you can see the molar flow but we actually need the molar flow um in the vapor outlet stream so you can see them here the molar flow of methane is this that of hydrogen is this that of oxygen is zero because all of the oxygen has been consumed for co2 and co is this and this for nitrogen is this so i think that's all for today so we've come to the end of this lecture on conversion reaction i hope you learned a lot kindly subscribe to this youtube channel and do well to give this video a thumbs up once again this is your mind from genius screen and thanks for listening